Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. It's a nice and quick one today. We will see how to fix a common problem that people have with elevations in Revit. That is where when you go to an elevation like this one here, which is showing there on the left, and sometimes either part of the building or the whole model will show as being cut. For instance, here I have this main building appearing correctly, but this living room is showing as if I'm looking at a section, not elevation. And this is obviously wrong. Well, the good news is this is super easy to fix once you know how. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's see how we can fix this. Firstly, let me turn on my project browser. The first thing to do is to figure out where your elevation marker is for this elevation here. Sometimes it's obvious. For example, here I know that this elevation is created from this marker there. But in a big project, that may be difficult because you may have hundreds of elevation views and hundreds of floor plans or sections to check. Therefore, if someone just gives you this elevation here, you need to use a trick now to find the elevation marker for the next step of fixing this problem. To do so, super easy. Simply go to the elevation that you need to fix, this one here. Right click on the blank space, anything outside of the model elements there. So I'm gonna go right here, right click, and then choose to find referring views. When you do this, it will list for you all the views that have the elevation markers visible. In this case, we have the choice between level 1 and level 2 floor plans. Level 1 is there, so obviously that's going to work. But let's go to level 2 for example. So select that level 2 floor plan and click on open view. As you can see, as soon as I've done that, it will take me to the floor plan, in this case level 2. And it will also select the elevation marker that generated my elevation view right here. So that's the first step you need to do. Use the Find Referring Views option to get to the elevation marker wherever that's visible. So if I do it again now and choose level 1, Open View, it's going to take me there. The second step, once you have obtained the elevation marker, is to select it. In this case, it's already selected for us from the Find Referring Views command. But if not, simply click on the black triangle to select the marker. You then need to pay attention to a line, this one here, that is going through or near the elevation marker. Usually, it will be at the same location, so that's what's showing now. I have the line going through the marker itself. But sometimes this line may be a bit off, maybe like this, or maybe further to the back. You need to find this line, and that means looking a bit further beyond the area where you have the marker. Anything that appears like a line that is selected, that's the one to pay attention to. Anyway, in this case, I can see this line easily, that's there. I now have two choices. I can move the line to fix the elevation, or I can move the line and the marker at the same time. Let's try the first option. If I now click on this line, and just drag it until it's outside of the building. So in this case, it means going down this way. If you go a bit further beyond the view crop box, then the line will disappear. So that's something else to be aware of. You may need to extend the crop box of the view in this case. How to do that? Simply turn on the Properties Windows under View, User Interface, Properties. As you can see from here, I can also turn on and off the Project Browser, just like that. But for now, let's keep both panels on. So in the View Properties, make sure you have nothing selected. So if you have the marker or the elevation line selected, make sure you click on the blank space there to deselect everything. And then under Floor Plan Properties, you can untick this box that says crop view. Of course, this is only temporary. You can always go back here and tick the box again to crop the view once you've done fixing this elevation. Anyway, now that the view is uncropped, I can now select the elevation marker again, click on the line and drag it. And now as you can see, I can go as far as I need to from the building without this line disappearing on me. Anyway, I want to not cut through the living room right there. So let's go this way and drop the line outside the building here. And as soon as you've done that, as you can see on the left, the 
elevation view has been fixed. I now see the whole building from outside, not cutting through any of it. So this view is now correct. That's option number two to fix this problem. So what was option number one? If I now go back here, select the marker, I can also select the marker and the bubble and just move it this way. And now what if I select the marker again? Make sure you get the black triangle, not the bubble. As you can see, this line is now further down. If I do it again, if I move it further even down this way and select the marker, this line is now even further away from the building. So if I now undo a few steps, if I go back to before I move the line, instead of moving this line, I can just simply move the marker like this. And the beautiful thing is the line will always follow the elevation marker. And in this case, that also has fixed this elevation view for us. So there we go. All the steps you need to fix the problem of elevations in Revit appearing as sections. If you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, enjoy learning Revit with RV Boost, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.